Hey guys, Craig Frost here again for another Juicy Tuts uh, tutorial or review, whatever you want to call it. Um, today I'm going to be looking at the new Camera Raw 7.0 from um, it's new in Photoshop CS6, and um, I'm really in love with this. I would go as far as saying it's my favorite feature of the new Photoshop. Um, uh, people who have had the new Lightroom just before um, CS6, uh, the Photoshop CS6 has come out, will recognize the um, new features in this, but this is the first time they're featured in um, Photoshop. Sorry, I'm finding it hard to speak here. But uh, you'll notice down the side here that your recovery and fill light, black levels, and all that kind of stuff is gone, and it's replaced with these sliders, highlights, shadows, whites, blacks, which is basically what um, they used to do, and also all of the sliders default in the middle now, so you can really see graphically what's doing what. Um, you can still change your white balance and everything up here, just as before, and your color temperature, etc. But what I really like in this is the ability to um, easily bring back detail to give you an almost HDR image with just one photo. I mean, you could do this before, you could like we've lost detail in the cloud there, you can bring the exposure down and see the cloud, then you can mask out the uh, foreground area and uh, bring it back, etc. But a nice easy way with these new sliders that I like to do is you can drag the highlights all the way down, you can uh, move the shadows all the way up and instantly look at the detail that we're bringing back in these shadow areas right here. Uh, it's it's great. I mean, I'm pushing this to the extreme, but you can really see the benefits uh, for your normal photography here. Again, if you bring whites down a bit, maybe push the blacks up. Um, look at this high dynamic range that we've got in this image here that you would expect from a multiple exposure. Um, now we can boost the clarity. Again, I've gone really heavy-handed here just to show you. I wouldn't recommend maybe going all this far with it. I'm just pulling the exposure down a bit there desaturate it a bit um, so you can already see there what we started with and what we've got now and then you can go through and just fiddle about with your levels as normal these are uh, similar to what you'd expect in Photoshop but that uh, that front panel is really where the good stuff is for me anyway um, I don't really want this oversaturated too much uh, I think that's about it so uh, here you go, you can, you can really see the benefits of using this new camera raw, it's so powerful, I mean I've only scratched the surface here, but you can see before and after just from one image, I mean we can do it again, this is a good example to use, to show you where you might use this. Uh, this is a landscape shot at sunset, it looks alright, but of course the foreground is completely silhouetted as you'd expect because we're exposed from the sky and even that's blown out slightly. So, to bring this all back, again, I'm going to drag the highlights all the way down. Uh, I'm going to drag the shadows all the way up. And look at that already, just with those two sliders. I think they're my favorite bit in this new camera raw. Um, maybe I'm going to push the whites up a bit and the blacks down slightly just to add a bit more contrast. Clarity, what does that do? Yeah, a bit of mid-tone contrast. Uh, contrast there. Uh, you can boost the contrast, you can fiddle about, do what you want, but you see what I mean. Um, boost the vibrance a bit. Look at that. And again, just I'm rushing through here. Um, you probably will disagree with the, the uh, settings that I'm putting these on, but I don't care. Alright, you heard me. Um, oh, I can put a gradient down the sky here to darken that up a bit. Um, one thing I will do is add a bit of red to the highlights so I like this. Look at that. Okay now again how quick was that? That was what a minute maybe? I wasn't timing I'm sure you'll correct me when you play the video back but from what we started with which was this to that with one exposure and just that was just with like I said literally a minute of uh, tweaking, you ended up with that. Imagine if you spent maybe 10 minutes or more just pulling about with your photos, sharpening, noise reduction, all that. 
and you can really see the benefits of this new camera raw in Photoshop so um anyway there you go so I hope you like this video if you want more rate comment subscribe and all that good stuff uh, you can follow juicy tuts at twitter.com forward slash juicy tuts uh, thank you for watching um, I hope this you like this I know I say um a lot uh, see there you go again um ah. Um, I'm going to, uh, what? Okay. Oh, my phone's going. Okay. Thanks guys. Uh, see you next time. Bye.